Hello friends, Beth Williams here, BethWilliamsMusic.com. I'm a singer-songwriter and I have a singer's tip for you today. It has to do with these weights and what I'm doing here. So if you were trying to build up the muscles in your arm, you wouldn't just sit there and go, muscles build up. No, you would do exercises. You would lift weights or do whatever, do push-ups, whatever it took to build up the muscles in your arm. Well, this is a very obvious thing that you probably already know, but I didn't know it for years. It's the same with your voice. As a singer, if you want to have a better voice, if you want your voice to be more powerful, if you want your voice to be more on pitch, if you want your voice to project more, then you need to be doing scales. You need to do vocal warm-ups. For years, I sang professionally. I never had any lessons. Um, I didn't do any scales, nothing like that. Had never done vocal warm-up. I would just show up and sing. And fortunately, I never hurt my voice, but that is pretty dangerous. You really need to exercise your voice just as you do, for example, if you were gonna get up and go jog, you thought, okay, I'm gonna go outside and jog. Would you just like jump up and go jog? No, you would stretch. You would stretch your legs, stretch your arms, and it's the same with your voice. Before you sing, you should do warm-ups, you should do scales, and not just go out there and sing cold. Um, you really gotta get it warmed up, and also it just, it builds it up. It makes your voice stronger, and so really, Depending on how much you exercise your voice, the better your voice is going to be. So just kind of like if you use weights, you might have a really big muscle. So I have had a number of requests from people contacting me and asking if I had a vocal warm-up CD, which I did not. So I have put this together, just finished it, and there are 16 tracks on this. There I talk about the stance, the proper way of standing, not locking your knees, things like that. Also, if you prefer sitting down while you sing, I talk about that. And then I talk, I think what's really important on here is I talk about the singer's breath. Different singers have different ways of breathing, like opera singers expand their, their back and their chest and do all this. And um, So I have a preferred method of breathing that I use when I'm singing that I talk about on here, and you can learn how to do it. It has really, really improved my singing a lot. So if you're interested in this CD, you can go to my website, bethwilliamsmusic.com slash CDs, and get information about it there. But right now, what I'm gonna do is just do a couple of scales with you to show you what I mean, okay? So on the, on the vocal warm-up CD, I give you different tips. For example, I remind you that when you're singing scales, you need to open your mouth two fingers wide. I didn't know it for years, but I found out that when you sing with a small mouth, you get a small sound. If you open your mouth two fingers wide and go, see the difference? So you open your mouth and you get a bigger sound. So this first scale that we're gonna do is just one note and it's ah, all right? It's gonna go like this. Ah, 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 and on down. And the purpose of that is to help you get your breath right. And I also talk about that, I believe it's in track number three, two or three, where I talk about the singer's breath that I like to use. Another scale that's on the CD is my ba-bum, and it goes like this. Ba-bum, and as you're doing the mm, you just um, don't let your tongue touch anything on the inside of your mouth, and it's just a very gentle sound, and you should feel your lips kind of um, vibrating. So here we go, let's try it. And so on. And of course, the, the standard. Ah. 
So one other tip, one other thing that I forgot to mention is that whenever you're doing um, vocal exercises, vocal warm-up, you should stand or sit in front of a mirror. Why, you ask? Well, because your body is an instrument and you need to be able to see what you're doing. You don't realize what you're doing unless you're in front of a mirror or you could videotape yourself and watch it back later. But I prefer to get in front of a mirror, watch my mouth, make sure that I open my mouth two fingers wide, drop my jaw so that when I'm singing the most sound can come out. So I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, please click like. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel, I invite you to subscribe and follow me. I'll be posting more videos, singers tips, and also of course my yodeling videos, I do that. Be sure and visit me on Facebook, Beth Williams Music. Also my website, bethwilliamsmusic.com. Thank you so much and uh, just keep singing. Keep doing those vocal warm ups and you'll be surprised how much stronger your voice is gonna get. Okay, thanks so much. I used to have a lot of luck till she walked out the door. Said the big bad moods are gonna get you for sure. Used to have a